So now we all got to be vegan. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Also, I want to make an announcement uh, because there's been some fraudulent behavior going on in my comment section. There is a, 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 a individual account that's impersonating me. It has my logo. Sometimes it says the Officer Tatum. My account has a check mark. Right next to my name is a check mark. That means I'm verified. This account isn't verified. Also, it doesn't matter verified or not. I ain't never going to ask y'all to go to no WhatsApp. It's asking people to go to WhatsApp, and I, I, it's probably asking you for money. It ain't me. Report that to YouTube when you see it. I'll never ask you for no money on the WhatsApp. I don't want to chat with you on WhatsApp. I don't got nothing to do with WhatsApp. Anything that B. Tatum wants you to know about, it will be in the description section. Anything I want you to know about, I will say it uh, uh, on my video so you can be aware of it. So y'all know what to do. At least y'all should know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, woo, it's been a long day, and it just made it just a little longer. Now, all of a sudden, eating animals or not being a vegan, eating meat from the animals is somehow racist in a part of white supremacy. I thought that this lady was joking. I thought it was a parody. I thought she was actually reading a script from another person. And at the end of this, she was going to laugh and everybody's going to laugh it off and it's going to be all good. No, she seriously tried to make a point that eating meat is racist. Wrote a film. I believe we should move beyond all meat. Now, I don't disagree with her to a certain degree. I think the vegan lifestyle may be all right for some people, not for everybody, but it has yielded results for a lot of people that I know that have gone vegan. There ain't nothing wrong with a person making a personal decision about it for the right reasons. The assumption that the best protein comes from corpses is a racist belief. <laughs> How do you know the animal would have picked you to feed off their corpse? 21st century animal eating requires our complicity in a new colonialism. These events especially affect girls and young women. Your hamburger comes with a dose of misogyny. Popular culture is flooded with references to sexy cows, sexy pigs, sexy chickens, sexy fishes who all just want to have fun. Meat eating is also one of the ways gender-based structures of oppression are perpetuated. Masculinity, a construct of the gender binary facing constant destabilization, feels always under threat, and eating animals is its protection racket. White supremacists weapon, <laughs> weaponized it, eating. <laughs> White supremacists? What they got to be eating meat? I don't know a black person on like a ribeye steak uh, cooked medium from a steakhouse. Show me somebody. Okay. You know how I many black people eat chicken? Black people live on chicken. When I was growing up, grandma dumped that chicken in that grease, popping everybody in the kitchen. Pow, 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 pow. Ah, ah, ah. But that chicken was fire. Is white supremacy? Are you sick? You, you ain't, uh, come, on, come on. Meat, eggs, and dairy, and the baiting of liberal men as so called soy boys are all part of the neo Nazi <laughs> messaging. To say you care about animals is considered a sign of weakness in a world still committed to the gender binary. Meat eaters like anti-abortionists have forgotten that one quality of non-existence <laughs> is not having awareness about existence. When all else fails, meat eaters assert that animals are not our equals. I heard all your laughter. I know some of these must be new ideas or you think they're fringe or whatever. Our whiteness is part of the problem of meat eating. I, I'd never seen an animal. I see Jordan Peterson here, and I see his daughter here. So this is definitely not in the United States of America. It's probably somewhere in Canada. Now, just think about this for a minute. What would make a grown adult who's actually read any level of material in their lives associate meat eating with white supremacy? I, I, they, they have gone so woke and so far from reality that it, it is mind-boggling to me. Every race, I mean, think about this. Most humans on, pl on planet Earth, not just in Canada, United States, on planet Earth, at a period of time, they ate animals. And, and I, I would argue that 
the the activists and the woke people that, that that talk about us eating meat or eating animals and all that stuff, they have such a disdain, and they will cry in the middle of the streets at the thought of us slaughtering a cow and eating the cow um, after cooking that meat and searing it to where the juice stay in it, and when you cut into and it's dry aged, they they want to cry the thought of that, but animals are incredibly cruel to other animals. I, y'all can look up videos online. There, I saw a, a Komodo dragon. D- brutal. They eat the animal while they alive. They just go for the guts and the stomach. The animal's still alive. They, they ate all the stuff out of it. Hollow them out while you're alive. The animals don't give a about nobody emotions. You go out in the, into the in Sahara, uh, Sahara Desert, uh, go somewhere where you where, where lions are at, or, or go to you know uh, the swamps of Louisiana. D- they ain't gonna have no mercy on you. It's gonna be chump 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 over. Even if they don't want you, they're gonna bite you a couple times, tear you apart, and leave you there. They ain't thinking nothing about your feelings. They ain't thinking about white supremacy. They, they, they don't even care. You could be black, white, Asian, a baby. An anaconda will eat you no matter what you is. What makes people think that this makes any sense? But what this tells you, ladies and gentlemen, that there are people amongst us, Pharisees amongst us, who are reprobate. They have a reprobated mind. Their minds are far from God, far from logic and reality. They become so smart that they're stupid. These people do not understand reality because they don't have a connection with the king. If they had a connection with the king, they wouldn't be so worried about race, white supremacy, animals, and all this other stuff. God gave us the animals to eat them. Is it good that you eat animals all day long for every meal? You know, meat animals for every meal? Probably not. It may be good for you to diversify your diet. However, to insinuate that eating meat is somehow racist, patriarchy, white supremacist is just insane. It is insane. I want y'all to comment in the comments section and let me know, do you think this is insane? Or do you think this lady's on to something? Because I'm not a vegan. However, I do lean more towards saying if people eat a vegan life, I think that that will help a lot of people and it'll help people in certain situations, right? Maybe your diet needs to be vegan to help you with the ailments that you deal with. Some people do a meat only diet, which sounds incredibly ridiculous, but uh, uh, some of the smartest people in the world, Jordan Peterson is one of them. He does a meat only diet, his daughter. And if you see his daughter, she looked like a normal person. She's functional. She claims that uh, it has helped her with a lot of ailments and illnesses and stuff over the years. Uh, I think depression or something like that. She eats nothing but meat. She's a meat eater. I think it's called a carnivore diet. They only eat meat. I don't even think they eat vegetables or nothing. Um, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, if y'all are part of that diet. But, you know, each his own, man. My diet right now is just healthy food and not eating fast food and trying to, you know, work on my caloric intake and make sure that I'm eating enough calories that I need as a person at my weight and also burning the calories so I'm not just sitting on weight around the waist. You know what I'm saying? I still got it. You know what I'm saying? If you were doubting it, I still got it. Look at that, boy. I still got it. When I was little, my daddy used to do this. He used to seal it off and then he'll pull it out. Blow it up. I know y'all think that's corny, but my dad used to do that and that stuck with me forever. But just know, you know, you you catch me in the mall, I still got it. But I try to eat um, a healthy diet. And I think that there's nothing wrong with people dieting. Um, Researchers that I've read said about 80% of your weight loss and health um, improvements come from a diet, not necessarily from working out at the gym. So a lot of people working out at the gym, but they eat like trash and therefore their progress ain't what they want it to be. Anyway, I ain't on here to talk about your diet. I'm on here to talk about how insane these people are. Like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out.